All right, so we have all these wonderful options. Brutal Punch, Inhiliation. Uh, I can't even read tonight. I'm sorry. Let's do this one. Oh, holy shit. Uh, Annihilation Strike. There you that go. boss is fuck. Come on, Chloe. What? what? That's bad, right? Yeah, totally Not bad. for me. What? As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing wow. onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Come on, Mikey. Dodge, oh, no. dodge. Three. Your what? axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, Not the leg. Legs. Plural. Both? Severing both feet at the ankles. Oh, no. I am so sorry. Durgeron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Not the oh, crippled! Shit! I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp. Stomp. Yo, my controller's Stomp. shaking right this now as fault. she says this. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. You're welcome. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Not the thrust. Shit! Oh, no. Chloe, what happened? Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you on his blade, oh, lifting no. you high into the air. No! Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. And we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? S um, scream, cry. Wait, swing for the head? Hell yeah, let's I take do this. One last swing at Durg. Dur Durface's head. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. Come oh, on, no. Chloe. We got this. Come on. Eleven. You swing, catching Durgeron on the side of his head, severing one horn. At least but it's one horn. You don't do enough damage to kill him. Oh what no, an I'm asshole. dead. He laughs, then rips you off his sword with a vicious jerk. You die painfully. Damn, so I should have aimed for the arm. I'm sorry, Chloe. I have to escape. Hey, man. If you can, do it. I cast Warden's Hideaway. You sure? It's all I've got. You summon a spectral door, which shields you from Durgeron. Light flares out, blinding him. The door swings shut, then disappears. You are gone from sight and cannot be harmed. I guess... I'll have to come back when I'm stronger. That was fun. Check out what I drew. What's Mikey's that? Got serious drawing skills. Wow, that's the characters we've been playing this whole time. Sorry, I died and left you out there to fend for yourself. It's cool. I'll get him eventually. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Me too. Yeah. This was fun. I'll adventure with you anytime. Oh, <laughs> we'll see. Thanks for the game, nerds. That's so dope. I can't believe. D check. Next stop, chemistry class. I can't Enjoy. believe I played with them. That is so cool. All right. Guess we gotta go back to school. I guess we gotta go to chemistry class, right? Yep. Get to chemistry class. Perfect. Honestly, after playing that nice. D and D round. Who really wants to go back to school? I don't. Good luck, seniors. Yeah, we definitely need all the luck. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun. By Rachel? Oh, good. You're here. What? I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. 
Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to... Many a time, the mm -hmm. harmony of their tongues... Come on. Hath I listened to... Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Yeah, you're Sorry, not on Mr. point. King. No, yeah, don't you're apologize not on point. to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating. Ooh. And to your other fellow actors. And most of all, to yourself. Mr. Burn, Keaton. baby! Sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. Don't tell me you have a crush on her this too, is Chloe. Getting as surreal as last night. Oh, looking good, Rach. Very good. Why, why are you telling like that? Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, really? that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. Me? Why the me? The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Are you testing me to see if I'm a romantic? Sometimes, when you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's got to be true love. 20 bucks? Wow. A romantic and a cynic. <laughs> that actually kind of helps me. Thanks. 20 bucks Thanks, to Mr. see Keaton. a school play? Later. Since you when? Later, oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. No, seriously, 20 bucks for a ticket? That's mad money. My school didn't even do that. Uh, Your Rachel? eye looks fabulous. Are you flirting with get me? It done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay. So, why am I here again? Because oh, Rachel you drag dragged you. you. I That's think why. it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah. Sure. Chloe, do you have the hots for Rachel too? Damn it, okay. why does everyone uh, like Rachel? Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Time for bed, so got to go. Love you, sis. Thanks for coming in, Trisha. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, sweet dreams. Give the little one kisses for me. Otherwise, let me see here. I just... Night night. I just want to know why is everyone suddenly have the hots for Rachel? Like why is everyone having a fat ass crush on Rachel? I just need to know. Like what's good? Wow, Chloe, you really are falling for Rachel. I know you have a big fat crush on her. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. You're so awkward. What is that? Rachel is that... looks so happy here. Oh, it's a picture of her and her dad. Oh, cannot relate. There's Rachel's belt. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Wait, first, I want to be nosy. This poster definitely says <sighs> something. Quell, that's it. Quell. To internet or not to internet. Why not? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've read the same thing when I was <laughs> Why in do Chloe's theater room? kids take themselves so seriously? Wait, what? Rachel Amber playing Prospera. A newcomer to Blackwell Academy, Rachel Amber blew the doors off her audition with a heartbreaking reading of Blanche from Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named Desire. Other interests include athletics, debate team, 
boosters fundraising, local history, and nature. Rachel hopes to one day grace the stages of Broadway and the silver screen of Hollywood. Aw, Rachel is such a nerd, but a well-rounded nerd. That's, that's good. I like that. She, she sounds like a good kid. Nathan Prescott playing Caliban. A favorite son of the oldest and most influential family in Arcadia Bay, Nathan hopes this performance of The Tempest will only further the legacy of the Prescott name at Blackwell Academy. Playing Caliban has been a challenge for the sophomore who enjoys sports, photography, and casual hangouts with his many friends. AKA he was forced to do this play just to appease his daddy. Typical Dana Ward playing Miranda. A sophomore, Dana has performed in two other productions at Blackwell Academy. Since her freshman year, Dana enjoys football, Go Bigfoot, social media, and school dances. She hopes to be a member of the Vortex Club when she's a senior. Yeah, she's very much a social animal, I can tell. Hayden Jones playing Fernand. The show marks the introduction of Hayden Jones to Blackwell Academy's drama club. He auditioned on a dare, and as it turns out, actually really digs acting. Sophomore, his other interests include playing sports, herbals, and taking long walks in the woods. He sounds like the sensitive type. Juliet Watson playing Ariel. Juliet's primary interests include journalism and social activism. Wow, she is such a key... I bet she's a keyboard warrior. And I bet she owns a Tumblr, too. But she is very excited to be debuting this spring in the role of Ariel. The caprice and powerful spirit Prospera has enchanted and bound to do her magical bidding. Travis Keaton, directing. A veteran of Broadway, Travis Wilbury Keaton serves the prestigious Blackwell Academy as a teacher of the dramatic arts, mentor, and friend. He hopes this humble reinterpretation of Shakespeare's masterpiece can inspire the next generation of the country's leaders to strive for greatness and never to forget his motto, Ars Grata Ars. He sounds like a tryhard, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely sounds like a tryhard. Hey now, sharing is caring. Pencils for stage manager only, AKA Steph. And yet there's no pencils. Did she really took them all? That would be so funny if she actually did. Times are hard for elite private high schools. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for uh, the Tempest. You know what, Chloe? You would be the one. Always so aggressive. Should be life is drama. I mean, it's the same thing. Art imitates Sweet life. Sweet collar, Pepe. Okay, Rachel. Ooh, the costume rack. What? Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Another poster, the same Rachel one as Lambert, before. Drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. I get it, you have the hots for her. Ooh, this one. I love how no one is there. Like, it's so convenient for her to have this much time to graph CD my the life. poster. Get some ink. Ah, nice little halo. Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Where are all the pencils? I know it was you, Hayden. Ah, poor Hayden. Always getting blamed. I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Dana, you are very beautiful. Do you want to go out? I would be into that from mm, Logan. Guess who? Oh, that's funny. That is so hilarious. Look at that little love note. I do the same thing with my girl uh, though. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's be daring. Oh, I didn't know she was mid-changing. Chloe, the Riz. I really liked your costume. Oh, thanks. Rachel's like, so did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, how about a belt instead? Perfect. Oh, Chloe is so shy. Now. I'm not used to seeing Chloe this shy. This is a total 180 compared to the first Life is Strange series. Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Mm, where? Where? Fuck yes. I was born to ditch. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh my god, we're ditching school? I can't believe we're actually ditching school. I feel like a criminal. You see, back in my high school, I was a geek. I never missed school. But then again, school was like you sure my you way of leaving grab home. the bus or Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Well, Dude, I just what the noticed hell am something. I getting into here? This is the same place that Chloe took Max back in part one. Except we didn't hop in the train. <laughs> we just chilled around this area. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. So we're really riding this train? Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. I feel like you've done this a whole bunch of times, Rachel. Hey, why weren't you in chem? Everything okay? Yep. What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Yo, let's talk later. Okay. Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. I see a crate here, but what else can I look at? Shipping label. Whoa, Nathan's dad is a Terminator? That totally checks out. Shipper, widgets are a 601 Highway 36S, Lower Moreland, blah blah blah. Notice of termination, Prescott Foundation. I feel like the Prescotts own everything. I feel pretty confident point. there's going to be a dead body in here. Let me get that crate. Let me enjoy the view, especially since I'm chair. with Rachel, so. Why not just be comfortable while we're at it? Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. There's my chair. And then there's Rachel. Alright, sit. Alright, Chloe. You're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. Chloe, you're nervous around her? What? This is isn't the this Chloe I know. Nervousness? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that what this feeling is? I wish Max were here, so I could ask. I know you miss Should your friend. Should I make small talk? Is that what people do? Uh, <laughs> so, um, what is wrong with you? What? You're acting nervous. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. 
Finally, we're addressing the elephant in the room. I don't hang out with anyone, and I don't have any friends. You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name was Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. Hey, so... I want to say thanks. For pulling you out of school? No, dummy. Thanks for last night. Uh. If you hadn't shown up. Assholes abound in Arcadia Bay. I owe you. That's for sure. Is that why you came along? Are you suggesting I should need a reason to ditch school? I bet you're wondering what we're doing. The thought occurred, yeah. Well... I wanted some company. That's it? No, That's there's it? more to it than that. Come on, Rachel. Nah. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun? Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Mmm, Chloe. I don't Let's know. Let's do something fun. I mean, I like spontaneous, but dude. Flirt? What? Should I? V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Wow. Too far. Chloe! Well, I, don't know. I thought it was gonna be a simple cute flirt, not that! Okay. Oh fun. lord! I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play Two Truths and a Lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves, two of which are the truth, and one of which is a lie. lie. Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Okay. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. I mean, I did New read York, your I'm, little profile, so that's the truth. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Kathmandu? One day, I'm going to climb Everest. That sucks. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? I know she... Okay. Uh... This one. I don't buy the ambidextrous claim. No? Well, that's too bad. Because it's true. Oh, no! Sign your name with both hands. Sign where? Seriously? All the bad girls do it. Come on. Okay, that's her right hand. And now her left. Oh no, she's able to Damn. do- Okay. I'm so the Leo. The lie was New York. What? I'm a Cali girl, born and raised. Never mind. So New York's on the bucket list. Broadway, here I come. Cool. Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. Let's do a true first. I used to want to be a pirate when I grow up. I kind of still do. Arr. I'm mad she <laughs> I'm mad she said R like that. I'm done. Okay. Um There you go, I'm allergic to cats. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? 
I swear. Mm -hmm. And then do a truth. Uh, I'll do this one. I love science. Seriously, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson is the shit. Huh. All right, Rachel, which one's the lie? You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. W what? Uh, hella? Dude, <laughs> says she's that? looking it's for a, a reason thing. to touch her. Anyway, think about it, getting closer to I her. Remember. What? Of course you wanted to be a pirate. Sail the open seas, buckle swash. Plunder secret treasure. Did I mention my love of booty? You're so awkward, <laughs> Chloe! So, pirate, obviously true. Dang, she's good. Like you said, R. She got the first one. Okay. You say you love science, but you are failing chemistry. Mm. You're saying failing chemistry means I hate science? Or that Blackwell doesn't inspire your best work? Ooh, that's a... Wow! That's a really good observation. That place is a hellhole filled with shit, where shitty people go to be shitty to each other and themselves. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel, though. Anyway, school sucks, but you love science. I'm gonna say true. Oh, she's good. She's good. Chloe, she Which got you. brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Mm. Alleged? Alleged. I'm calling lie. Why is mm. that? I mean, maybe you're allergic, but I've passed by your locker a few times. You have? And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. Damn, you studied my locker? You've passed by my locker? Yeah. Stalker much? That's what I'm hey, saying. I notice things. I can't help Yo, it. she was studying your locker. I being noticed, too. It's kind of new for me. Well, get used to it. So, if my math is correct, why is she getting that quote? Two truths and one lie. What? You expected me to cheat? Winners make their own rules, Chloe. You are crazy good at this game. I know, I'm impressed. A lifetime of studying the human condition. Well, I'm impressed. I bet it's hard to impress Chloe Price. I'm gonna feel good about that one. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is something you're used to. That's Seriously? why she's good at it. Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting Why is she looking at her the game. with and those not bedroom everyone eyes? would admit to wanting to be a pirate. But eye patches are so cool. And rum is delicious. I guess. You opened up a lot. That's all. Hmm. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. Trust doesn't exactly come easy to me. Maybe if you'd had my life, you'd understand. No, I get that. On the other hand, I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. So she's willing to trust you because she feels safe in your presence, especially since you saved her from almost getting beat up last night. To some music. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.